Yo, 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 what is going on team? This is Art and today I'm going to be giving you guys a trade recap video for 5-17-2021. I took a 100 plus percent return trade on BTU and I locked in $1,100 on Costco. Mainly just gonna be going over what I did, how I took those trades and how I found a trade like BTU because it is kind of an obscure stock that a lot of people haven't played before. Uh, really quickly, uh, credentials up 37.87 on the day. 113% so far on uh, BTU. I am holding this and $1,100 on Costco. Uh, so let's get right into this. So firstly, Costco. Costco had a really clean setup right at open on a five minute chart. Notice we have a crossover to the MACD uh, or on MACD to the upside along with a neutral RSI. On top of that, notice we are on top of every single SMA line, 50, 9, 20, and is a long ways for 200. So that was also another signal that I had that kind of led me to be very confident in how that would play out. And lastly, when you actually go into a one hour chart, you can see this bull flag setup that we had. This is today, so kind of ignore this, but we had this bull flag setup on Costco and we broke out to the upside. Unfortunately, it did fail trying to get above previous highs at 387, but it did push regardless. So that said, that is how I took Costco. I took it and made about $1,100. It was mainly off of this huge pump that we saw right at open. As soon as I started seeing the MACD lines kind of start crossing down or tapering off, I was very hesitant to hold on to my position. So I exited and it did end up kind of crashing a little bit. That said, it was a pretty simple trade in terms of setup, mainly just technical analysis and chart patterns. But the main winner here, BTU, uh, I closed 113% uh, percent overall pretty good stuff so check this out btu opened up at 650 that was this morning from absolutely no volume at all to metric tons of volume today btu is peabody energy they do thermal coal it's an energy stock and energy has been on the rise recently but i noticed that coal was kind of lacking behind and I was trying to find something that I could take to eventually kind of build a position into. And this is what ended up showing up. I'll really quickly go over how I found this one in particular in a second. But mainly what happened was it just continued to kind of rocket throughout the day, just legging up after legging up after legging up and upwards, you know. Overall, I think that this thing has the potential to continue heading upwards. Uh, it is closing today on a bull flag. That said, it is kind of in the overbought. But the main reason why I also saw this on this, uh, or why I also kind of led to play this thing is on a weekly chart, notice we finally started rounding out this bottom. It took essentially a year for it to kind of round out, but that's why I'm setting my profit target to at least 12 and then $16. Because I think that now that we have this momentum, we can definitely see this thing climb going into the future. I don't know if it'll double right now, but the stock did close 32.31% for the day. Uh, that in mind, it does just look very strong, almost like an inverse head and shoulders. Uh, but let's go over really how I found this stock in the first place, because that is the burning question, I'm assuming for most of you guys watching. So really quick, I went to Finviz. I'll really quickly just go through here. So I looked into sectors, energy, industry, coal, because I again, I was under the belief that, hey, I think these guys are kind of lacking behind and notice that out of all these coal stocks btu is the one that ended up breaking out because it is the one with the most volume and notice even the rest of the coal stocks are either flat completely or extremely green so that is just something to consider on top of that uh let me go on to this other website right here let me show you something let me put you on so here is shortsqueeze.com shortsqueeze.com will kind of just tell you hey here's how much short volume there is and so I went through and I looked up every single one of these stocks that we have right here. And I kind of just looked for something that had the most short volume. Uh, in this case, it was BTU. BTU has an 8.05 short. Uh, and it was climbing from this morning. This morning, I think it was at like seven and a half. So people are still adding onto their shorts. And so when you actually go back onto Finviz, you can actually see right here that the short float right here is about 7.99%. So I think that we'll eventually see a short squeeze type play. Also on top of that, check out this little daily chart bull flag. Again, just something to consider when it comes to taking this trade in the first place. But that was mainly my, my little lead into taking that position. So when I actually went to take that position, I took 
the uh, 16th of July because these are very cheap contracts. I paid $95 each. They're currently worth $2 and two. So overall, it paid out very nicely. I did buy a little out of the money, which is not really something I do very often, but I did believe that it was on a strong path. I entered on the $7 break and we did have a little bull flag set up and ripped even higher. Overall, I think that this stock is a pretty decent uh, contender to be one of those 1,000% trades. So we'll see what happens. About every $1, I think I make 100%. So overall, I'm a very big fan of this stock. Also notice that we have that bull flag set up again on that daily chart, which is why we saw this huge breakout today. Overall though, that is going to conclude today's video. I do appreciate you guys for watching. I'm sorry for being a little absent recently. I've had a lot of exams with my university and it's been a little hectic. That said though, I am back. I am going to go back to my regular upload schedule. And I appreciate you guys again for watching. Uh, that said, please like, comment, subscribe. I don't know, maybe welcome me back if you'd really like. But that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.